Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to do a really quick video about how to grow your Instagram followers fast, but more importantly, how to gain a higher engagement. I've been getting a lot of questions about this recently through my Instagram DMs. And if you don't know, I do have this outfit Instagram that I made specifically just for outfit of the days and just like fashion in general, shoes, clothes. I love fashion and this is just like my little virtual diary. So I figured I would just make a video about it for you guys. So I have five main tips for you guys. I started this page back in September, so it's almost going to be a year. In my first two months, I gained about 3,000 followers, so that was pretty quick. I was growing pretty fast, but then I kind of slowed down and my engagement got a little worse because I stopped you know, engaging as much because I was busy doing other things. So this does work because I started doing it again and it's working again. So here are my five tips. Number one, engage more than you post. I highly believe if you engage more than you post, you'll get a higher engagement in return. So what is engagement? Like commenting on others' posts, liking other posts, you know, um, answering people's polls on Instagram stories or DMing them, you know, having a conversation, that's all engagement and it works. The more you engage, the more you'll get back on your feed. So if you comment on someone's picture, they'll probably come back and comment on yours. So it works both ways. Highly believe that, so that's tip number one. And number two, always have something on your story. If you post something, it's always good to have something on your story. If you don't post something, you should also have something on your story. That way when people find your feed, they have something to look at, you know? It's like, oh, there's a story and they'll probably just click on it just to see what you have on there. So it's really good to like just have something on there in general. And also use everything that Instagram has to offer. So on their stories, they have polls, they have questions, they have quizzes, they have I have notes over here. They have stickers, they have locations, they have GIFs you can use. Use it all because the more you use it, the more Instagram will see that you're using it. And I think that's how the algorithm will boost you up too. And also Instagram reels, not just regular photo posts. Try to do some reels with some like catchy music or like whatever's trending. It works. I started going to Zara and just filming all like the clothes that they had because Obviously I can't buy everything, so I just started going into Zara and taking pictures of them and then eventually I would just take videos and I started making reels about it and they actually started to gain a lot of attention. People really liked it. It got a few thousand views, so I highly recommend using reels and just, you know, even the polls on Instagram stories, those are really popular for me too. People love engaging with it. I do like this or that Thursday or wear tear Wednesday or yay or nay Friday, or yay or nay Tuesday, you know, it could really be any day of the week, and I just think it's so fun, and sometimes people DM me, they're like, oh my gosh, that's so cute, I want it, or I'm gonna go buy that, or wow, that's so ugly, and it's like, yep, yeah. but I really do love the polls, and I don't really use the location, but I do use GIFs a lot, and I do use polls, and I do sometimes do the questions. I don't get as high of an engagement from the questions, so I stick to polls and the GIFs. I think GIFs are super cute. And then I also tag brands. I think if you could start engaging with brands early on, it doesn't matter if you have 100 followers, 1,000, 10,000, the earlier you start to engage with brands and then eventually Number three is post consistently. Whether you post once a day or once a week, choose a day and post that specific day. If you post every day, post every day and choose a specific time to post. I usually post at 12, but I did give myself a little gap. It's between 12 or three, because I feel like that is when my followers are most on Instagram. And it works well for me, and I think this will really help you guys too, because you're consistent and people see that. And also having something on your story when you post something, so people can click on it. Always have something on your story. I'm telling you guys, this works. When you post consistently, remember when you're posting, use hashtags, use location, tag accounts, and of course, reels too. You could tag um, accounts now in reels, which is really cool and also use music on Reels too. I think everybody knows that one, but on your posts, use a location, use hashtags. Sometimes on some of my photos, it shows like who liked my photo. You could see the insights on your posts if you um, make your account public or like business. I could see like how my hashtags are doing, like how many people saw this post from hashtags and it'll be like, 
83 or like 123 and then you can also see that sometimes the location really helps boost that post or sometimes it's just random from people's feed so you never know but it doesn't hurt and then tip number four is choose one niche and stick to it that's what your followers want to see right so choose one niche my niche is outfits and fashion but you could do lifestyle or food or I don't know outfits just like me you know like just choose something and stick to it because that's eventually what your followers want to follow whether it's like some people have aesthetic feeds that people follow or stick to one thing I think that really helps too because if I started posting like food on top of fashion and clothes and shoes and then mixed in i don't know cars it would just kind of be like all over the place i think sticking to fashion that's what people want to follow and that's why they do follow so choose a niche and stick to it be consistent with it also aesthetic feeds are really nice there are a few apps you can use to like plan out your instagram before you post it so that you see like what your feed looks like whether or not you should use a filter also that's the other thing if you're going to use a filter use it consistently don't just use it on one photo and then not the other or the other two you know if you're going to use a filter use it on all of them that way you know your feed's like the same kind of color almost but there are i don't really use apps that much to plan out my feed i kind of just post because they really are usually a natural light occasionally if it's like really dark because it wasn't sunny for a few days i'll like have to adjust the brightness really high up but usually all my photos are in natural light so i don't really edit them or put a filter on them but if you do use a filter use it consistently and then tip number five team up with other content creators you could do giveaways which are actually really popular i've seen people like collab with like another person be like oh here's like hundred dollar gift card to this one place just follow the both of us and then we'll choose a random winner i've actually done a giveaway before it was so fun so i kind of just did my own giveaway i didn't really you know partner with anybody i've tried but nobody wanted to but that's okay and i give away my own 50 dollars gift card to zara i think i did that twice and it was really cute around christmas time a lot of people like those and it's really easy to do you can use just like a random number generator and yeah it's really fun really but those are just my five main tips that i really think will help grow your instagram followers and ultimately engagement because followers don't really mean anything if half of them are ghosts those people that used to follow me back in like October or November, they're probably not as active or engaged in my account anymore as they used to be because, you know, I stopped posting, I got busy, so that's what happens. But now, you know, when you go back and you follow more people and you engage with them, they're going to be your active followers. And you want active followers, you don't want ghost followers. Sometimes, you know, you go on people's pages and you see they have like 12,000 followers, but if you look on their posts, some of them barely even have 100 or 200 likes and then their comments are like seven comments so it's like those are obviously fake followers they're ghost followers even if the people that are following you are like real accounts and real people they're not active so it doesn't really help your account in any way so if you want to grow you want people who are going to engage who are going to keep up with your content you just want someone who's going to be really active with you on your profile so that goes back to like my first tip if you engage more than you post you'll get it right back so if you engage with others if you comment on their posts and stuff it'll you know they'll come and engage with your account and i really do think that works so those are my five tips you guys i really hope you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button and i hope this really helped you guys i know this is pretty you know basic stuff but thanks guys for watching again and stay tuned for some more videos bye